Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today and do a Worth the Splurge video. I'm super excited about this because I've planned to do this forever and I don't know that I've ever done one of these. Now, I'm going to start this by saying I just recorded and put out a classics that I still love video. It's old products that I still am in love with and a lot of those things I would have put in here, but I'm not because I don't want to repeat products. So I'm going to link that down below. I'll probably have a card right here. After you watch this video, catch that one because it, there's a lot in there that is definitely worth the splurge, but I'm not going to repeat. So anyway, I'm going to jump right into this and these are just products that in my opinion, are worth my splurge. They may not be worth it to you. You know, this is a very subjective subject, but I'm very careful what I'm spending right now because I have loads of cosmetics. I'm like an Ulta store. So when I buy something, I'm like, do I really need that? I can just go into my stash and pick out something. And it's nice stuff. So do I really want to spend that? And if I do, that is worth my splurge. So have a lot of really good products in here. I'm going to start with two that I'm not going to talk about long because they've been in several videos recently. But these products are why I'm doing this video. Because the Charlotte Til Tilbury Film Star and the Flawless Filter, I said recently in, video, in a video that both of these were worth a worth the splurge to me because they last so long. Um, I'll start with the Film Star. It's a bronzer and a highlighter. What I love about this so much and why it's worth it to me to spend that extra money, it lasts forever. I've been using this, I bet, for a year. And that's the pan I've hit. It took me forever. And I wear these every single day every day. I this is what I'm using up and it's great just to, you know, for my daily life without looking like too much. The highlighter does not show a lot of pores. Well, I don't notice it. I don't have a big pore problem, but, or prominent pores, not a problem, but it just, just right on the apples of my cheeks and makes me just have a healthy glow. And I always put it on the end of my nose because I put my um, contour above where it turns up and right below and this on the end and that all together makes a really nice upturned nose. So when this is gone y'all, it's going to be rough. <laughs> That's going to be rough because I love this so much. Last forever. I think it's $60. I would definitely do that again. And then the Flawless Filter forever. I've been using this every day and it's down to about here. I've been using it every day for about, I'm going to say two or three months. I use it as a primer, but with that, I dot that on, dip it again, dot that on, and it's plenty for my whole big face. This adds a beautiful glow. This bottle is going to last me forever. It's beautiful packaging. I love those. So now I'm going to move on to some products. A lot of these you may not even remember I have. I'm going to move on to highlighters in general. What I'm looking for in a highlighter is something that doesn't just sit on my face like a shiny streak where people are like, yeah, she got some highlighter on today. Like that just looks like a lip from within glow. That's what I'm always looking for. Even if I'm going out to an event like a charity event or a dinner, I'm still looking for a lip from within glow, sometimes more intense than others. And so I'm going to talk about the brands that I think are worth the splurge. One of them is Charlotte Tilbury. All of her highlighters that I have tried are beautiful. This Glowgasm, um, that, all of these are shiny products. And I haven't used this a lot, but this is a beautiful highlighter and you just get a good packs of punch and it just is smooth to me. Okay, then another brand that just, every time I wear it, I'm blown away and that is Natasha Denona. These glows, I have glow and super glow. Okay, it's gonna look kinda messy because I scratched some stuff off the top. That, it's a little bit golder. Um, but it's beautiful. When I put this on, I'm going to put it 
it doesn't go on um, overwhelmingly. I could wear these daily and they're buildable. Oh, these are just gorgeous. So I've got the glow and the super glow. And um, yeah, that's just glowier than the regular. But again, a lip from within. That is not just sitting on top of my face. And then I have the Diamond and Blush palette, and the highlighters are great in this. Anything Natasha Denona, Charlotte Tilbury. And then I hesitated whether or not to put my Tom Ford in here, because if I can spend that much, why am I going to spend a Tom Ford price? But this is beautiful. And this is the, hold on, Skin, Skin Illuminating Powder Duo. Okay. That's it. And this is another lip from within that I could wear every day, or I could build it and wear it out. But look at that. It's just almost see-through. And then, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. It's just subtle and beautiful, again, for every day. And then you've got this one that's a little bit darker. Um, I like to mix those, but with the Charlotte and the Natasha, I don't know that I would ever need to spend Tom Ford prices, but if you like ultra luxury, this is beautiful. Okay, next I have a concealer. I don't know if, even if you've been with me, I don't know if you'll know that I have this. And it is one that I keep right here in my desk because when I want to use it, or sometimes in my purse, it's the NARS Mattifying in the pot, and I use this with a little beauty blender, my cheeky, that I use for a million different things, or the Morphe, hold on, or the Morphe, you can see that I use, it's been used, it's with this. This is the M504, and I'll just dip this in here and then just dot it right here, and it layers beautifully. It's creamy, but not greasy, spreads really nice, and for a touch-up is what I always use this for. But this is at least my second pot, and I will order more. It's probably about time to order more. That'll still last a while. But I carry this in my purse if I'm going out and right here at my desk in case I need a touch-up. And then another one. You'd have to be listening close to know I have this. It's the Bare Minerals Concealer. I don't remember where I heard this. This is a powder concealer. And even after I had it, it took me a while to warm up to it because I just didn't trust it. A powder concealer, what? And it's great. For those days when I don't have a lot of sleep or my eyes are just puffy, I've had a lot of salt in my diet or something and they're just really puffy, um, I would cover them, but they're pretty good today. I got good sleep last night. But all I do... I just get a little bit in here, and then with this way overused cheeky, I just dip it in there, and then I'm just dotting. I can see a dark circle on this side. I don't know if you can. And then I'm just dotting it on that dark circle, and it is amazing to just top off. If you have a special occasion, and you just need, you know, your under eyes to be extra on point. The Bare Minerals Concealer is amazing for just that final step. Okay, then I've got two foundations. And I've talked about these, I've talked about these quite a bit on my channel. But they're worth repeating because when I wear them, either one of them, it's like a filter on my face. I will tell you the difference in them. The ones I'm talking about are the Tarte Found Sealer. This is about my fourth bottle of this. This is a very good cover. As much cover as you can tell I have on my face. I, I'm a full cover girl. Uh, this takes one pump. And then on a damp beauty blender, I just tap it in and it literally is like a filter on my face. So I love this. This has a little bit of a heavier feel to it than my next one I'm gonna talk about. It doesn't feel heavy, but it is a little bit heavier than my other one. If you're going to have pictures made, um, when I'm gonna do a video, these are the two that I'm picking up. If I want a good makeup day, I'm gonna have a good 
face day. It's a luminous finish, but I mattify it down with my powder and it's just gorgeous. And then my other one, I don't have a bottle of it, but it's the Givenchy Tint Couture Every Everywhere. And I don't have it because I, to I told y'all, I am picky about when I'm going to spend my money on makeup with all this makeup. And I had two of these. So I was like, no, I'm not buying an <laughs> another one when I have two of these, but I will. And the Everywhere is everything I just said about this, but it's a little bit lighter feeling. I would say about 50% lighter, but I still feel like I have a filter on my face when I wear that. It's a good, I'm going to say medium to full cover, but feels full on me, but I may be building it up. It is, um, it's lovely. It's more of a skin to matte finish, but not at all flat. Leaning towards the skin, like halfway between a luminous and a matte, I would say, somewhere in there. And I can mattify it down fine, and it is a filter. Both of these are a filter on my face when I wear them. They're beautiful. Okay, next, I have some liners. And I'll tell you, anytime I'm buying a liner, I think, why am I doing this? Because at the drugstore, I love a Rimmel liner, eye and lip. So, you know, that kind of knocks out anything that's worth a splurge. Yet, I still have some that I will splurge on and not feel bad about it because I love them so much. The first one I've talked about recently, and it's this Pat McGrath Buff. And it's a warm nude that I can wear with cools and warms. And all of these that I'm going to be talking about, they have a kind of a plasticky feel and you need a good sharpener sharpener to sharpen them down because the, and they just sharpen real smooth they're not wood i don't know what that material is and then the liner itself is between a twist up the texture is between a twist roll up that breaks off too easy and a traditional pencil that you have to sharpen you sharpen these but they're nice and soft but not too soft the pat mcgrath buff any of the Charlotte Tilburys, same thing. It's the same kind of packaging and then a kind of a softer liner so you're not working to get it in, um, but it's not too smudgy either. These are beautiful liners. I feel like they are worth my splurge, even when I'm being careful. Um, and then a liner you might forget about, Lancome liners. I think these are they're pretty much always worth my splurge. I love them. I don't know what it is about them, except they're like these others that they're real easy to put on. Today I have on Ideal. I have on Ideal. heard about that years ago on Lisa D1. It's a good, just a good, beautiful nude. And I wear it with either blankety. I think this is Bosom Friend from MAC. They're just a beautiful texture. I want a warm color, uh, like a nice spice with a Lancome liner. If you know of one, let me know the color I need to get. Okay, and then the Lancome eyeliners. To me, this is worth a splurge. And if you know my preference as well, you will know I'm crazy about a Rimmel black liner. I use this every day. It's what I always have on my upper lash line. The reason these Lancome liners are worth it to me is because of my lower line. Before I put on my eyeshadow, I draw a line here and up where my eyeshadow is, kind of a guide. I don't like it too stiff, and I don't like it too where I'm just, you know, running. It's too thin, or it just goes on too easy. I'm very picky about that lower line. I will tell you, I thought I loved this Wet n Wild, and it's just not the right consistency. These Lancome liners are perfect. They're not overly dry, and they're not overly wet. They're just a perfect consistency for that lower line to the point that I'm like, yeah, I'll get that. Now, if L'Oreal had one, I would definitely try it because I know they're the same company. So I would try a L'Oreal. I just haven't found one. But right now, these are definitely worth my splurge. And the one I use every day is black coffee. Then I have a gray one I love. And so I love those. 
Okay, I wanted to talk just real quick about a couple of utensils that I have that are worth my splurge. And the first one is this Cheeky Beauty Blender. I keep about five of these laying around my house and in my purse. These are blush, cream blush application. These are concealer application. These are, that may be it, blush and concealer, which I focus on a lot. These just get a work out with me. I've never found a cheaper one. I like better. I've tried the e.l.f. and it's nice, but it doesn't replace this. I keep these in backup and I will continue to splurge on there, on those until I find something that good. Um, I love the Miss A big ones, but haven't found a small one. That cheeky size is great. And then the Wayne Goss brushes. I think I have one more. I do. There's one more, but this Wayne Goss brush set, eye brush set, has totally been worth my splurge from about 2017. And a lot of times eye brushes might come down to your eye shape. And that brush is so perfect for my transition. And I go all the way over in here and it's the perfect blender, lays it down real smooth, and it's just a beautiful brush. This one is number 20. If I lost all these brushes, that's the one I would replace. Number 20. It's just a great brush to have around. And then the other one I use next most is number 16. And I'll use this in powder and start up here and then blend real soft. And it's just the perfect amount of stiffness. These just are lasting me forever. They don't shed. It gives a beautiful blend and I just think these were worth every bit of the whatever my husband paid for them. All right, and that is all of my products that I think are absolutely worth my splurge. Y'all down below, let me know any products that you feel this way about. You know, you're kind of frugal with your life, but then you're like, no, I have to have this. It's worth my, it's worth my dollar. Y'all let me know the products that are like that for y'all. And that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day.